This is a great example of what we can achieve when we listen to our customers and collaborate. Uh, major operator in the Permian was not satisfied with their fluid for drilling the intermediate sections. So our regional teams met with them several times to fully understand the challenges we're facing and appreciate the performance goals we had. Uh, ultimately, the technology team took these design principles into the lab and came up with a new fluid solution. The main benefits are drilling efficiency and reduction in waste disposal costs after the well. Uh, this new system uses actually produced brine and hydrocarbon oils from the field. Uh, so they're easy to get, we don't have logistical constraints. As well, we have less maintenance and less volume needs to be built on location. What makes this fluid so unique is it's actually a water-based system that contains a pretty significant amount of oil in it. Uh, the reason we do this is so that we can drill through salt layers without eroding the salt and causing cavernous well bores. And as well, we can drill through very weak layers and reduce the fluid density. Um, the emulsion that we achieve through special surfactants is also built to have a low viscosity. This enables us to minimize downhole pressures and enhance solid separation on surface. Uh, as well, this is a reusable system. It's very stable in storage between wells and it can be used from pad to pad. We've done our first three test wells in New Mexico over the summer and the Barishow light system has definitely exceeded all expectations. Uh, basically, in terms of the salt challenge, we drilled through the salt. We had minimum washout. This was confirmed by some logs. Uh, we were able to control the fluid density all the way down to nine pounds per gallon, uh, which is impossible with a saturated fluid unless you go with the bearish shale. Uh, this enabled us to minimize downhole losses and mainly control that fluid through the salt and later sections.